Hey guys, this is Baz. Uh, I got a quick correction to make about in my first video I said you can't navigate to every base um, especially bases in particular that don't have an NDB stated here or a VOR um, well if you click on the base it's not going to give you any information you need but I did find out something today um, that I think is pretty neat um, you see these stations all over the map that look like this circle right here well, those are non-directional beacon stations and there's the number for that particular station right there so if you dial 430 into your ADF it's going to take you there and uh, these things are pretty well spread out all over the map um, switch to altitude so you can see you got three right through this valley here so if you wanted to fly you know through this valley going from this base to this base uh, they're pretty well spread out up north too, all over the place. Any any one of these, and they've they've all got the numbers for that particular tower right next to it. Um, check out this base. No TACAN, no VOR, no NDB listed on the base itself, but it actually does have one right next to it. So you'd fly to that NDB, you punch in seven six one, and dial that up on your ADF. And it's going to take you right there, and just fly a visual approach from there um, Gudata same thing no TAC and no VR no NDBs listed um, dial up what is that 395 into your ADF it's going to take you there um, so I'm going to show you a quick example we're going to fly to this one right here 430 we're going to punch in our ADF and on change the uh, channel range and Good. Uh, pointing pretty much straight at Porsche 100. And let's use our handy dandy roller. Course 100 is pretty much pointing right at that tower. So I'll do a quick fly by because there's one other thing I want to show you. When you're using these to navigate to the base, if you're flying um, IFR conditions, this tower isn't lined up on the runway for this ILS. So you can't use it in the way that I showed earlier, like you, if you had an NDB here for this ILS, this NDB would have to be at this end of the runway, because this ILS is for runway 13, and if you look at your, your knee board for Toomey, it's listed as 12, but that's 13, sometimes we're one number off. This is runway 13, and that ILS number right there is only broadcasting out this way. Now you'll still pick up if you dial that in. You'll still pick it up out this end, but your glide slope is going to be showing you um, basically the opposite corrections you need to make. So just keep keep an eye out for that uh, and pay attention to where where you see these beacons at on the runway in relation to what kind of ILS signal you would use to punch in if you're flying to one of these small bases. Anyway, let's fly over this uh, this NDB tower. That way, I can demonstrate it working. And I turned pretty quick there, so you see, you got to give it a minute to kind of catch up. But it's finally swinging back around, and that's it out there in front of us. And we're about to fly over it now. There it goes. And you see our ADF. 
if swinging around following it. So they do work. Uh, I've tried a couple of different ones at different distances. They uh, they work quite a ways away. So. that in mind we should be able to navigate pretty much anywhere on the map with uh, little or no trouble. Got to do a little vortex ring state there. And I'll hold a hover here so uh, you can see it bounce out and point right at it. Go. So, happy flying and uh, enjoy. Let me know if you find any uh, that don't work. And uh, this is one other thing I want to show you real quick. Just don't confuse these round ones and the numbers next to them with uh, these shaped towers. Because this number doesn't seem to work at all in the ADF that I've uh, found yet anyway alright then uh, good luck happy flying